Hello again, this is Matt Moser continuing with another in our series of tutorials on COBOL within Visual Studio.net. In this particular case, we're using 2008. Um, for one of our earlier uh, tutorials, or one of our first ones, we used Intro to COBOL.net, which I'll click on now in order to bring up our project. Today, we're going to focus on um, copybooks and how to locate them so that if we come into here um, if you want to work on a particular copy book you can actually add it right into your project solution so we'll right click here click add and we'll say existing item in this particular case and we'll go navigating for our copy book and as we look through here we're at alchemy I keep my copy books in my copy books folder and in my case I like to name my copy books with the CPY extension and the copy book I want to use is PD 1010, PD standing for Procedure Division. So in this particular case, I've added my copy books. Um, you should always keep a path to your copy book set, unless the copy books are local to your given library. The way you set your paths up is you come back into here, your properties, as we had in a prior tutorial, and we click on Properties, come into Copy Book Paths and you can click here to select and we'll go to my computer C colon alchemy and in my case I keep it my alchemy copy books click OK in this particular case I'm already using it um, you have the ability to add this particular folder that you've selected either to your copy book paths for user or for project and in this particular case if I was to click on add folder it's already contained within there so it's not going to add it and these arrows allow you to change the placement of where your copy books will be looked for first. Um, continuing back on, we'll clean, continue back to our uh, copy book. If we wanted to work on that we could. Um, I'm going to work on the main program and what we're going to do here is show you um, how the copy book path actually works then it does work because that was outside of where this particular program is located. Um, I'm going to cheat a little bit. I have some code which I'm going to copy off the clipboard and paste in order to save some time. And I'm going to come into here, paste, and I keep my working storage variables in a copy book called WS bars. And I'm going to copy this out of here, cop, cut, and I'm going to wind up putting it down here because that's my paragraph PD1010 is contained in there. And I'm going to come along here and add my perform clause. Cut, paste. And then I go ahead and I do my build and hopefully I did everything correctly here and it compiles which it did close this out so we have a little more space and if we want to set a breakpoint again not too hard we just go ahead and set it at the position we want it in and PD1010 is this code and we literally could animate through that code if we wanted to and stop and have a breakpoint right there in this particular case we're going to go back to our main.cob and we're going to go ahead and execute the program. And so notice that it stopped right here. And if we wanted to, we've got any variables. You can see what the variables are set at. But we'll go ahead and continue the run of the program. And drag this into the window into place. And you'll notice that it says press any key to continue. And it went right into our copy book. And we'll say hello, Matt Moser and nice to meet you press any key and that pretty much wraps up that uh, tutorial on how to do copy books and we rolled in a little bit of animation into it at the same time have a great day and we'll talk to you in our next tutorial see you bye